Now we're gonna do our goblet coil lateral squat. So I'm going to hold the kettlebell in front of me with two hands. You could also use the dumbbell. I'm gonna set up my feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. I'm gonna start by um, shifting my hips to the right. So that means I'm gonna find my coil from my left hip. So I'm going to rotate the left hip a little bit, find that left oblique. Um, so I'm rotating left hip to the right. And then to sit on my lateral squat, I'm sending my hip out. My knee is gonna track my big toe. My chest is staying upright. And then I'm gonna push through the outside of that right foot to come back up. Reset my coil as I'm going into it. Lead with the hip like we're going back in a stool. This left leg is staying nice and straight. Again, so we've got a little bit of a rotation from that left hip toward the right. My right knee is tracking the big toe and the dumbbell or kettlebell is staying nice and close to my body here. You can also do this as a lunge. The only difference is now I'm going to move my feet. So I'm going to step into my lunge. I'm gonna coil as I sink into that right hip. Big push off the right foot to come up to standing. So lunge, coil, push, and repeat. If you have a hard time hitting full range of motion on this exercise, you can do a foot elevated version. So you can either step onto the um, riser if you're doing a lunge or start with your foot on the riser if you're gonna do the squat pattern.